Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I get to paint. If you have been around on my channel for a while, I used to be really into painting hydro flasks back in the Visco Girl era, and now we're in the I don't know what it's called, that girl era. I can't keep up, but apparently Stanley Cups are in. So as you can see in the background, I was a little bit behind on the trends, but I am making my mom a little gift. So I got her a cute pink Stanley Cup, and we're going to be painting it today. So thanks for joining. Let's see what we come up with. Welcome to my desk, my little painting station. Firstly, what we need to do is just a little research on what exactly I'm going to paint. Of course, if you've seen any of my other painting stuff, I'm a big fan of flowers and so is my mom. So of course, I'm going to be going the floral route as always. I swear it's the only thing I can paint. We're going to go over to the handy dandy Pinterest site as always. And I am going to look up my floral inspiration. I think I already have my color palette set just to go along with the pretty like pink stanley i grabbed my little painting kit so i just have my dainty paint brushes because i think i'm gonna go with like smaller flowers is what i have in mind but just like spreading them out over the cup i'm mainly gonna go with like warmer tones so i think i'm gonna mix a lot of like pinks maybe some purple in there some orange flowers maybe some like lighter reds and then probably some leaves or something i don't know so i'm just going to look up mini floral paintings for some inspiration and I'll screenshot a couple of the ones I like I like this one Ooh, these are cute I like this of course I have a Pinterest board already so I'm gonna look at my paint inspo which when I like go back and look through this I can't believe I had this much time to organize my Pinterest board okay so these are the prints that I'm basing it off of I really like this one it seems pretty simple but I like how the flowers kind of mesh together if that makes sense this is kind of a similar idea it just has more variety of flowers and shapes the other one is just like more circles but hopefully you're getting the idea I want like a lot of different colors in there especially when I paint it onto the Stanley I want it to just look kind of natural because I'm gonna have them splotched in different places I've been brainstorming let's get straight into the painting all right, so now that I have my layout set up, I think I'm going to start by making some flowers that look kind of like I think I want to paint flowers along the handle for sure. And I think it would look cool to have them kind of like down at this bottom part. But I also thought it'd be cute to tie it all together by putting maybe somewhere around the Stanley logo. But I think I'm going to start by just doing them on the handle because that's where I'm most certain that I want the design. But then again, I think I want the same flowers to be like coordinated everywhere so I might just end up putting all of them if I'm certain about the spacing. Let's start mixing some paints because I think I want my pink to be a little bit lighter. And I just use plain acrylic paints for this and the way that I make the finish is by using a special sealant spray paint. coming off that's how you know this is a big deal we're taking it seriously this is what i have on the handle so far i like putting the bigger flowers first and then i'm just gonna fill it in with little dots and smaller details after I think that i'm just going to add all the flowers where i want them right now because i might as well before all of my paint dries out and then i think I'm gonna put some more down here sporadically. Probably won't be going past this little ridge part, but I want it to look like blended still. Since 
since I made a lot of pink paint, I think I'm just gonna mix some orange into it and then try to recreate these flowers down here. I'm just trying to start with the larger flowers that take up the most space and then kind of like move my way down to medium sized flowers and then fill it with smaller flowers and dots and leaves and stuff like that. Sometimes I have a really hard time mixing paint and sometimes it just like works out in my favor. So hopefully today is a good paint mixing day for me. It'll save a lot of time and energy. Nice. The hard thing too is like once you start to paint stuff, acrylic paint dries pretty quick, but I don't want to like scratch these off before they're sealed in. So I try to just grab where I know there's no other paint. And then these flowers are much more blob-like. So honestly, when you're doing a design like this, also kind of nice because it can just be kind of messier and like there's so much going on that it still looks good. <laughs> going to add in some little red flowers really just like these that are really small and dainty and then i'm grabbing my red paint and i'm using a really detailed small brush I need to remember not to use so much paint because honestly these details are very small Okay guys, so this is where we're at. I have three different kinds of flowers on here and it's all in the different spots I want it in. I think I'm just gonna fill in a lot of like the gaps and stuff more, but first I'm just going to add a little bit more detail on all of these flowers and then I'll catch back up once that is done. Okay, here we are with a little update. As you can see, I just added some detail to a lot of the flowers. Crazy how much the little detail adds. I think it makes it looks so much better. I think I just want to add more filler, especially at the bottom. I honestly think the handle's looking pretty good. I could just fill in some little spaces, but I also like how it looks kind of like natural, not like a straight line at any spot. But I think I'm going to go in and add some green leaves in between, and then I'm probably just going to add some more different kinds of flowers next. <laughs> knocked out for 20 minutes but it's time to get back to painting because i want to at least finish painting all the flowers for today and then i think i'm gonna spray it when it's a little warmer out because classic seattle decided to even drizzle a little today which is not good when you're trying to seal in a stanley my nap was actually really productive though because i needed to power charge my camera since someone forgot to charge it again So I think I'm going to add a couple different types of flowers now to fill in some more space. So I really like how these little tulips look. I think they're really cute. It's definitely coming along. It's more about adding some bigger flowers down here. But I think we'll be finishing up pretty soon. This is the inspo. This is the result. I think these little tulips might be my favorite flower on here. And up here, I think it's so adorable. It like ties it in. But what I think I'm going to do now, since the bottom's getting pretty Pretty full. I do need to add little fillers in the yellow flowers, but after that, I think I'm just gonna add little tiny dots in between as fillers and maybe like little random doodles just to really complete it. But we're so close to being done. Another tip I have for you if you are not super confident in your painting skills is to just do the designs with dots. So you could either use the end of your paintbrush or you could even use something like a dotting tool for nails. You could even use a q-tip and just get it on the back of your brush and you can practice on paper but it should make pretty perfect dots. For example, I'm going to be using this technique for the insides of these yellow flowers. So as you can see, all I have to do is tap it. And I have a perfect circle. You can also just get more paint on your brush if you want the circle to be bigger like this one. Another thing I 
recommend using is a toothpick for those really fine details. Alright guys, so I think I have all of it pretty much finished and here is the reveal. it's so cute and I absolutely love how it turned out all I have to do is seal it in with some protective spray so that the design doesn't go anywhere and it'll be all finished it took about I don't know like three four hours maybe with like break relaxing in between but I think it's adorable I can't wait for this to be finished so I can give it to my mom and see what she thinks Hi friends, so it is the next day. I just whipped out some painter's tape. I'm going to tape up all of the spots of the Stanley that I don't want to be sealed in. Obviously, I'll take the straw out. I'm going to try to take this little sticker off too, probably, but the new Stanley has different, like, rubber grips, so this might be a little more tedious. Just also spray painting around a handle compared to my hydros and the past things I've painted. Um, I'm probably going to have to tape a little bit more, but it shouldn't be too bad. I'm probably just going to tape this now and spray paint it tomorrow because my mom's at home and I don't want her to see it. Nice. You have to do that slowly or else it leaves those terrible little sticky spot. Taking the straw out, I'm just going to take some of my painter's tape. And what I'm also going to do, because I don't want to tape this entire top part, I'm just going to grab a tissue. You could honestly use something more like saran wrap or tin foil. I'm going to tape some of that down too so the top part doesn't get any of the spray paint or like fumes in it. Now I'm going to try to tape down this rubber part and honestly I can't think of a better way to do this other than kind of just like trimming it down so that's what i'm gonna do i'm kind of pressing it on here and trying to like indent it so i have a trace or an outline of what i'm gonna have to cut now when i take this off i can see a faint outline i'm just gonna cut around that then i'm just gonna see if it covers everything hopefully fingers crossed it does Honestly, not bad at all. Great. And there's also one more inside here. So this one's going to be a little bit trickier, but I'm going to try to do the same thing. Hey guys, I finished taping it up and I'll see you back tomorrow when it's time to seal it all in and complete the project. Hi friends, so we are now outside ready to just seal in the finished design. I have some clear, this is matte finish spray paint, but you can use kind of like any clear spray sealant and it's kind of your choice if you want it to be glossy or matte. I just had this one and honestly I've used different spray paints before, but this is what I have today. Can't open it. Oh, thanks. Let's go. Ugh. I try to do like two coats of this and then once again since it's a cup shape not just a normal water bottle I'm trying to be extra careful about making sure that I get all the little crevices and especially the handle I'm just checking on it now and it's pretty dry so I'm just gonna take all of the painters tape off Taking the tape part off is always so satisfying. Ooh. It looks so good. And also, just for reference, I've done this to all of my hydros and I just try to hand wash them. The outside can get wet, but I just try to hand wash it pretty gently. I'm not like scrubbing the outside. I've had my hydros painted for a long time. They have a little bit of wear and tear, but for the most part, it stayed on pretty well. Happy Mother's Day! Oh. So sweet to me. What's this? I'm excited. You're because you're excited. Oh, what is this? Mm -hmm. Do you have this one? I saw this name somewhere. Yeah, I need to drink more water. <laughs> did you get what's so funny? Oh, did you do that? Look how detailed you made that. Oh, that's so personal. <laughs> 
hi guys so once again this is the finish stanley i think it's so cute and it's pretty different from anything i've ever done on a hydro i really love how this turned out and if you want to see any other of my painting videos i will link some of them down below and if you have any other requests for things i should paint just let me know because i love painting stuff this was so therapeutic i had so much fun i hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you decide to paint your own stanley i would love to see it so make sure to tag me on any of my socials but yeah thank you guys so much for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys